Hello, I'm Gary Willock. Today we're doing this video a little bit differently. As you can see, I'm sitting in my office. I've already been out on the job to film the guys doing a split sheet panel with a pipe flashing sandwiched in between. We call it a split sheet application. It's the most watertight and most lasting way you can install a pipe flashing for a metal roof. What you see him doing right now is simply cleaning off all the little debris, making sure nothing is there before they start the process of installing the first split sheet panel. They've got three in a row that they're going to do. We'll be right back to show you exactly how that's done. Now they've already cut the hole in the first panel. They've already bent the end and they're going to get that panel positioned in place and then move forward with doing the split sheet. He's actually getting down on the roof below so he can sit a little bit better and make sure that this first one gets started off well. He's got to get it underneath the cleat on the valley and he's got to get it underneath the drip edge so the panel itself actually wraps around. Now you just saw this young man put the actual flashing on the pipe. Uh, he's getting an idea of how long the next panel is going to be so he can go ahead and cut that while they're installing this first panel. Now this entire process takes less than 10 minutes to go from a roof that's going to last five to seven years to a roof that's going to last a lifetime, 40 or 50 years, depending on how long this roof really lasts. And that's probably a good lifespan for a colored roof like this. This is a dark bronze panel and you see him sliding it in now. He's trying to get it in both underneath the cleat, which is not raising up very well for him and around the drip edge too. And that first one is the trickiest because you've got two different parts that you're going around. From this point on, it's just around the valley as he goes around this curved valley. Now here, one of his guys are installing a 1x4. This is a vented roof system. So you see a lot of the 1x4s on there over a 1x2. And this allows venting. In fact, this is the coolest roof you can do in Texas. If you want to be energy efficient, this is the way to go. And we've got other videos talking about the space sheathing, the slats, and the uh, way that the air actually vents. Uh, there's a fascia involved, a core vent involved, and a rig vent involved. Now you see him fastening the actual first panel to that extra piece of one before that he installed. This is what holds the panel in place. The rest of it expands and contracts and moves on the clips. That's why that's important. Now again, they've got the flashing about ready to put it on around the pipe over the first panel. Now they're going to make some adjustments to the first panel. They're going to cut away the double lock portion because you don't want to try to get three panels in one double lock. It's just not going to do well if you try to do that. So you actually are going to be cutting away the top portion of the panel, leaving the standing seam sandwiched in between the two standing seams that are double locked together. I hope that makes some sense. It's a little bit hard to uh, tell that story, but you're going to be able to see it here in just a minute. He's actually trimming that off now. And so it's just leaving the inch and a half standing seam portion. So there will be a panel go down on top of this panel that the double lock part will stay in place and double lock to the panel on each side of it. So you still have a double lock panel and then in between there the part that overlaps is a inch and a half standing seam. Very, very important if you're going to be doing this that you understand that application. Absolutely critical. Now he's doing the other side now the exact same way. That part of the panel cuts off. So the standing seam again is sandwiched in between the two panels that actually lock together, double lock together. So you still have a double lock standing seam with a seam in between, a standing seam in between. So the water can channel properly, but 
that panel doesn't have to double lock because the two on the outsides of it lock all three together. And again, you really can't lock, double lock three uh, together. You've got to trim that off. Now, this is something I've taught my team. And if you go back on our videos, you see one that we did five or six, maybe seven years ago. I think that was about when we started doing all of our metal roofs this way. Now, they're working on the top panel. And what they're doing is they're trimming it off and they're bending it down just slightly. I think it's about a 15 degree bend that we put on those. Uh, and we only bend a half inch so that 15 degree holds that panel straight in between the panels so it doesn't curve up and make a void. Now they're poking a hole in it and then they're gonna cut that circle out. And I want you to see how easy and quick once you get experience once you have the knowledge and you've practiced drilled and rehearsed time after time after time how quick you can cut a perfect round hole with this i'm not sure it's perfect but it's pretty darn well now he's putting the caulk on uh, this is exactly what we've shown him on how we want to approach it the caulk only needs to go on this outside surface. Any water that would leak around the pipe, even though we're going to caulk it for uh, aesthetics. Now, he's put that um, caulked flashing on the bottom pan, pan meaning the roof pan. He's screwing it down, letting the caulk ease out a little bit. So he's pressing the caulk into it by forcing it with the screws. And that way, no water from above can go in. There's really no way for water to get above that anyway. Uh, the theory is, is if the caulk ever leaked around the top, that water could get in there. But we don't actually use that. We will use a storm collar with a counter flashing. That's a totally different subject. We'll have that on another video so you can see it. In fact, is we have that on a video for a composition roof, but not for a, a metal roof. And here they are with the second panel. And look how nice that hole is. They cut that out with the shears after knocking a hole in it. And they're tucking it in under the metal roof. We only got so far the other day, and this is early morning. Look at that nice fit. Now you don't even need caulking there. You do not even need caulking there. We're gonna put it at the top so water cannot back up. We're gonna put it down the side so it cannot go off the side and underneath that. But even if it did, it's still gonna be caught by that pan and run out down below. But we want to avoid everything that we possibly can. So you caulk down that way, you caulk across the top, you caulk the other side. And this is a watertight Perfect, guys. installation, literally for as long as this metal roof can last. And we expect them to last a good 40, 50 years, maybe even longer. 